Lovers of art, connoisseurs of culture, and students of history are spoiled for choice in a place like Florence. A rich sense of heritage permeates almost everywhere in the city, with markers of the past melded often beautifully, artistically, with the present. A stunning example of this fusion is the remarkable Cantina Antonori, a vineyard showroom and wine cellar complex set in the vine-covered hills of Chianti, halfway between Florence and Siena. It's owned by Marchesi Antonori, an Italian winemaker that can trace its history all the way back to 1385. The building was designed proudly by a local architectural firm. I was born in Florence and so I consider myself part of Renaissance. And so what, but what is the meaning of Renaissance? Renaissance in certain ways is a, is a modernity and it's a, it's a future and the past together. And so in this building, we create a fusion between the tradition and innovation. There is a very thin line between tradition and innovation. And this is something that has always gone, uh, we say, in the DNA across all these centuries. You've got to keep in mind the traditions. They've got to be an example. They've got to be a support. But if you stop, you're lost. So whatever you know you travel you understand you see uh, you experiment but always keeping in mind that you have a very long story behind and that this long story has taken us to this point so it obviously worked there is more to just an aesthetic value to florence's iconic cultural and artistic offerings something that local officials are realizing more and more Florence ranks first in Italy for total number of companies working in what could be described as the cultural production system. And the city's becoming an international leader in advanced technology and high value added services for cultural heritage. Opportunities for foreign companies to participate in Florence's cultural economy range from R&D for advanced restoration equipment to the development and distribution of platforms and solutions for art, education and tourism as well as services for museums and fine art. In Palazzo Strozzi, a 15th century palace that hosts art exhibitions and cultural events, the tools of technology are being put to use to keep the tourism offer fresh. Well, technology is one of the many colors in the palette that we use. We've always been extremely technology friendly. Um, so what we do, as I say, is create objects, opportunities, publications, iPhone, electronic opportunities, touch screens, tours, lectures, and this, and we create instruments that together allow visitors to come back and when they come back, stay longer. So we are the city's laboratory for exploring cool stuff that Florence can do with its entire cultural wealth. Technology is deployed to not just show off cultural assets, but to preserve them as well. As just one example, LN, a multinational laser technology company based in Florence, puts its technologies towards the task of preserving works of art, even though its core applications are for medical and industrial uses. Because we are in Florence, uh, we are responsible to, to conserve what we have from the story, from the civilization. In Florence, there's a strong collective will to protect and preserve the city's vast wealth of cultural assets. Having these assets is seen as a responsibility, not just a birthright.